everybody. So we're going to do a special series today for the Twin Flames for November 11th. So I am staying in. It's Saturday evening. <laughs> I am staying in and doing these videos for y'all. Um, we're going to be using several decks. I wish I had more Oracle decks than just these two. Um, I may buy some more this week. But we do have the Good Tarot, which we'll be using it. It's that one of like extreme positivity. The Fenestra deck, which um, to me is a very romantic deck. Fenestra Tarot. The Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. The Mystical Wisdom Oracle Cards. The Romance Angels Cards. That's the second time this could be the one came up. And then uh, if I need to use little clarifiers, I'll be using either this tiny Rider weight deck or the Celtic mini deck. But, so after I did my video um, about 5,000 subscribers, um, one of my friends sent me this song. Now, I'm not a Justin Timberlake fan. <laughs> um, just to be clear, I, I like a couple of his songs, but I'm just not a Justin Timberlake fan. So... At any rate, she shared this song with me called Mirrors. And to me, I listened to the words and I'm like, oh my goodness, that is such a twin flame thing. So this is my little journal I keep quotes in. It's called, uh, it says her attitude is savage, but her heart is gold. I keep quotes in it. So I went ahead and I put some of these lyrics in here. I want to share them with you because I think, I think it's going to resonate with a lot of you that are dealing with twin flame issues. Um, the song is called Mirrors. You remember me saying in the, if you saw the video, um, about the 5,000 subscribers, how I talked about how your twin flame is often a mirror of you. So, I'm not a singer. I'm just going to read these lyrics to you. There's quite a few of them. So, um, if you're cross-watching and you've already looked at your sun sign, you've already sat through all this, go ahead and fast forward to the timestamp that I put down below. And uh, you can start from there. So, and I only, I, I took out some of the chorus in the middle and uh, added it towards the end. So, aren't you something to admire because your shine is something like a mirror. And I can't help but notice you reflect in this heart of mine. If you ever feel alone and the glare makes me hard to find, just know that I'm always parallel on the other side. To me, that kind of spoke of that telepathic connection that you have with your twin flame you know you're never really in 5d you're never apart from them you know here you you are so aren't you something in original because it doesn't seem merely assembled and i can't help but stare because i see truth somewhere in your eyes oh i can't ever change without you you reflect me i love that about you and if i could i would look at us all the time because your hand in my hand and a pocket full of soul, I can tell you there's no place we couldn't go. Just put your hand on the glass. I'm here trying to pull you through. You just got to be strong. That kind of sounds like that, you know, that when you're, when the, the one twin flame is trying to pull the runner back, telepathically or otherwise. And then it says... Because I don't want to lose you now, I'm looking right at the other half of me. The vacancy that sat in my heart is a space that now you hold. Show me how to fight for now. And I'll tell you, baby, it was easy coming back into you once I figured it out. So, isn't that what everybody's waiting Everybody's waiting for their twin to figure it out and come back, right? You were right here all along. And of course, you're sitting there waiting for your twin. <laughs> My mirror staring back at me. I couldn't get any bigger with anyone else beside me. So that's that recognize, recognizing there really isn't anybody that's more suited to you, right? And now it's clear as this promise that we're making two reflections into one because it's like you're my mirror, my mirror staring back at me. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. I can see you looking back at me. Keep your eyes on me, baby. Keep your eyes on me. I thought that that might be encouraging to somebody. Um, I know it was quite a lot of a song, but, you know, go check it out. It's really kind of a beautiful song. The words for Twin Flames, wow, especially for the Twin Flame. It's, it's almost like, 
when you listen, when you look at the lyrics and you watch the lyrics, it's almost like lyrics from the Twin Flame, Rum, Twin Flame Runner recognizing the union and coming back into union with the other other one. That's what it kind of uh, reminds me of. So hopefully, maybe it's of encouragement to somebody. Well done, Justin Timberlake. I know you don't watch my videos, but <laughs> you know, at least I don't think you do. But you know, uh, well done, well done. So. Let's move on to the readings, and um, because we're in Scorpio season, Scorpio will be first, and following the zodiac from there. So, uh, let's move on. Hello, Capricorn. I hope that you are doing well. This is your twin flame reading for November eleventh, two thousand eighteen. Um, keep in mind, this does get a little bit specific. So, it do if it does not resonate with you, please check your Moon rising and Venus signs. Um, also. Um, this is primarily for twin flames that have already connected, but are currently separated. Like they're, one of you is a runner. So we've got three cards on how they're feeling about you, Capricorn. Three cards on what's going on in their life. One card on what you need to do in order to reunite. One card on what they need to do in order to reunite. Um, what reuniting will accomplish some romance angels advice cards for you and some mystical wisdom advice cards for you. So we're going to start Capricorn with what is going on in your twin flames life. Okay. We got the king of wands. We've got the two of cups. And we have the eight of wands. Okay, so I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I had to be the bearer of bad news for Sagittarius, too. Um, it looks like there may be, they may have met, recently met somebody who might be a soulmate. Now, keep in mind that we can all have multiple soulmates, but we can only have one twin flame. So, usually when a soulmate comes into our life, it's, it's for us to learn something, and then, you know, either they'll remain in our life or they'll move on. Um, with the King of Wands energy, it's it's very possible that um, that your twin flame is very passionate about this union and it looks like you know that there's some loving communication that is either coming into their life from somebody or could be directed at you. Now, if you recently reunited to some degree with your twin flame, this could be your energy as well. Um, let's kind of take a look at this one. I'm going to use that mini Rider weight deck. I just love the little mini cards for clarifying. Uh, it's just me. I'm trying to like, trying to at least make you smile because it's hard to know whether this is you or somebody else, and only you know that. All right. Two of Cups in Capricorn Twin Flame Life. We've got the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, and Temperance. Well, your Twin Flame does have a lot of options, it appears, and um, You know, it's currently calling on you to be patient. Page of Swords has to do with um, information that makes things crystal clear. So you, you're going to get some information on that so you'll know for sure what, what the situation is. We have flying cards. Sorry about that, Capricorn. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here for Capricorn's Twin Flame? Ten of Pentacles, Chariot. Looks like they're trying to gain. They're trying to gain some sort of stability in their life. Uh, maybe their life previously had not been very stable. 
Looks like they're moving towards the future to build a firm financial footing somewhere. This King of Wands has to do with um, their overall building a solid foundation and trying to trying to move on with their life, it looks like. Eight of Wands. Why is it Eight of Wands here? Some sort of communication um, was a surprise to them. Maybe you communicated something to them that was a surprise to them. Um, caused a need to sort of rebuild, restart. Is that independent energy? King of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely some harsh communication that came into their life. Where that came from, I don't know if that came from you or from somebody else. But that harsh communication caused this tower moment and kind of left them with this fear of commitment. It looks like they're really, they like their singlehood. So even though they've met somebody, right now they're, they're kind of in a single mindset. So how do they feel about you? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords is, um, that could be air energy, it could be, that could be Libra, it could be somebody with Libra in their chart, Moon is Pisces, Pisces is in their chart. The King of Wands is fire, by the way. Um, but your, tw your twin flame They feel very confused about you. They feel extremely confused about you in general. Um, with the moon card here, it's it's like the they don't know. They they have trouble seeing if there's a future here with you, Capricorn. And for some reason, they feel like you're this lone wolf type. You know that you just kind of like wanna go do your own thing and, and not have anybody in your life. They feel like you're a lone wolf. Um, so you are causing a great deal of confusion for them. With the Queen of Swords, it's, they have a desire to kind of get down to the heart of the matter and see. They want to know what you're feeling. They want to know what you're thinking. But it doesn't necessarily look like they're going to ask you that because they're kind of preoccupied with somebody else at the moment. Um, But they're definitely feeling like you've got that kind of like lone wolf sort of mindset. Looks like you're both very strong single types. Death, that's Scorpio energy. That's an end of a cycle. Did you end something with them? I'm kind of, either you ended something with them, they ended something with you. Um... After, we got the Queen of Swords energy there again. It's like she was waiting on some sort of, and I'm saying she just because of the Queen um, card. It could be a male or a female. It's waiting on some sort of, of communication, some sort of information from you, Capricorn. Um, and it looks like when they didn't get it, Either you or they chose to move on. Yeah. It's like the, the communication that they were looking for, for from you um, had to do with the potential of, you know, perhaps a, a committed relationship with them. Um, like I said, I feel like they think you're the lone wolf. I don't know if you were holding back your emotions or... Um, it feels like this is somebody who's been in your life. You may have you may have actually been you know seeing them or something. What about this Queen of Swords? Why is this Queen of Swords here? And Capricorn's twin flames feelings. Waiting. Well, like I said, they were waiting for communication from you. I'm not sure that it sort of feels like at the moment they're preoccupied with somebody else. 
so they feel like you are very, very closed off emotionally and communicatively. Um, they were very confused about whether or not there was any kind of future here with you, and they feel like you are kind of lone wolf singles guy or gal. Okay, what you can do to help reunite with your twin flame, we have the Queen of Water. The Queen of Water. The Queen of Water is the same as the Queen of Cups. So that's saying for you to have unconditional love. You know, when you have a twin flame union, when you can express that unconditional love, they can feel that unconditional love, and they in turn will develop it for you. And that is a, that is a great start to, you know, rebuilding this, or calling the twin flame runner back. And um, the Queen of Water says to be very compassionate, be very emotionally secure. You know, in this particular, in this particular deck, the Queen of Water is the one who's emotionally secure, opposed to um, the King of Cups in other decks. And um, be generous. Practice self-love and self-care, because it's very, very healing for you and for your twin flame. Now, what they need to do in order for the two of you to reunite, we have the Queen of Air. There's a lot of decisions that they need to make. They, they need to have clear communication with themselves um, and when they are ready with you. Um, they really need, they need clarity on decision making. And they need to work on themselves. They, they don't have a lot of strength right now to... A twin flame, a twin flame re relationship is often very, um, very intense. And right now they don't have the strength for that. Now with the Ten of Air here, that would be similar to the Ten of Swords. But remember, this is the good tarot. So it's... it's you know, a happy and wonderful things. Um, with the Ten of Air here, if the two of you are able to reunite, it's going to put an end to anything toxic, any any difficult things. They're going to come to an end and a beautiful new beginning will occur. Um, there may be an epiphany that this person has that uh, helps to bring about the reunion. But it's definitely the end of something old and the beginning of something new. It's definitely wisdom. This person needs wisdom. Your twin flame does. So some of the um, romance angel advice that we're given for you, Capricorn, is that this is the romance of a lifetime. It is true love. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yeah, I kind of feel like whether the other person is the runner or you're the other runner, or you're the runner, they, they feel like you're you're this kind of lone wolf person who wasn't making an effort. And finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that's what I was seeing here. It's financial issues for them. Whether or not there's financial issues for you, um, hard to say, but this definitely is financial issues for them. They're trying to build something. So the additional guidance that you're given Capricorn is resilience to rise above tribulations. A twin flame um, situation can often feel very, very weighty, very, very difficult. And this is telling you that you are capable of rising above that. Seek knowledge. As I said, this person is in need of knowledge, but you may be as well because this has come out. Um, you may need to look a little bit more into twin flame associations and you know what all that entails. And then we have unicorn, invite serendipity. Oftentimes once you meet your twin flame, you'll start to see synchronicities and things of that nature. And you may find yourself in a position where um, you know, you may run into them somewhere that you never would have thought that you'd run into them or um, something of that nature. So, 
you know, invite that kind of wonderful magic that, you know, your higher power brings about to bring people together and uh, really embrace it and enjoy it. Capricorn, I hope this gives you a little bit of insight into what's going on with your twin flame. It's an absolute beautiful day from, for manifestation and the law of attraction work. So I highly advise that on November 11th, that if uh, that's something that you're into, you definitely ought to do that. And I uh, hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon.